I recently processed turkey broth in my Instant Pot, and this is what one carcass amounted to. So I'm going to pressure can all of this broth today. Here it is, ready to be dumped into the stock pot. So let's go through what I have ready for pressure canning my turkey broth. And these are the things I'm going to need. I have right here my magnetic wand and my lids are soaking in previously boiled water. I have my jar lifter. I have my debubbler. I have this. I rarely use it. I do use it sometimes, but anyway, I do have it ready. I have a bowl of vinegar for wiping the rims. Because I'm doing a hot pack, I have a stainless steel funnel. Not essential, but I like to use it. I did buy it at the dollar store for maybe $2, so it was a deal. It's probably not top quality, but it works for me. And I have my jars ready. Now these jars are put through the dishwasher and they're clean, okay? I also have a surface ready for when the jars are ready to come out of the canning pot. The canning pot is ready with the water and I will put the vinegar in the water at the last minute. You need to do safety checks. You want to check your vent pipe, okay? This is your vent pipe. There it is. You want to check your overpressure plug, which is right there, your seal, and your air vent cover lock, which is this. There. Also, you want to check your pressure regulator. This could use a dip in vinegar, but anyway, it's not getting one right now. I'm heating up my turkey broth. Now it could be on the larger element, I realize that, but it's on the closest element to where I need it for filling up my jars. So this will have to do, but I am going to turn it up. I'm now going to begin the process of filling my jars with the turkey broth. So I'm going to stir this broth every time I put the ladle into it. There is a certain amount of sediment. I have put this through a wire strainer, but I believe, you know, the sediment is good for you. It'll contain bone marrow, all those things. So I do want to distribute it evenly. That looks just about right. Yep, I could have a touch more, but you know what, that's all it's getting. So. Wipe the rim. And place a lid on. Screw it till it's finger tight. I'm now going to place this in my pot. As you notice, I didn't use this. I personally don't feel the need to use this. Um, with this project. And just for curiosity's sake, look what putting it in the dishwasher has done to it. It's all mangled anyway. It's, it's here, but I'm not really using it this time around. So let's fill up another jar. Again, I'm stirring the broth. go. Let's wipe the rim. Place the lid on. And I'm going to place this into the pot. I'll bring you back when my pot is filled with jars. Here we are, 20 jars. Let's get processing. 
Before I put my lid on, I'm going to add my vinegar. Let's line up my arrows. And I'm now going to turn up my element. I've now set my timer for 10 minutes. And for 10 minutes, it will vent. My 10 minutes are up, and I'm now going to put my pressure regulator on. I'll bring you back when my gauge here has reached 11 pounds pressure. My gauge has now reached 11 pounds pressure. I've put my timer on for 20 minutes, as that is the processing time for pints and broth. If I were doing quartz, I would process it for 25 minutes. Okay, so my timer is off. I'm gonna turn down my element and let the pressure come down naturally. And I'll bring you back when I open up the pot. So the pressure has come down naturally. I'm now gonna take off my pressure regulator and the lid of my pot. Holding the lid away from me. There. There's one. Now this is not a green jar. Uh, that's a clear jar. Look at that. Excellent. Here are 20 jars, and I'm going to start over. Those are the sounds I like to hear. I have ready 10 more jars. Maybe I will need more, but we'll see. Here are 13 and a half more pints. Here are 33 and one half pints of turkey broth. Initially processed in the Instant Pot and pressure canned after. I hope you give this a try. This was a fun project and all of this came from one carcass.